All right, I am gonna be a veterinarian. About me, I'm Alexis Swallow. Most people refer to me as Lexi. I'm a sophomore in high school. Some of my favorite things include hockey, horseback riding, and car rides with great music. I don't enjoy warm weather, large, crowd, large crowds of people, and heights. I look forward to majoring in medicine when I'm in college. I want to minor in something more creative, such as photography or design. It's easy for me to plan for my future and know what I want out of life. Top five career clusters, arts and design, entertainment and sports, food preparation and serving, healthcare, personal care and service, and my top cluster was healthcare. Uh, this is my chart. It's just the percentage of how much I would want to do each c career cluster. So, yeah. Uh, the specifics. What? I look forward to becoming a veterinarian in my future. Why? I want to be a veterinarian because I love animals. Medicine runs in my family and I'm looking towards living around a lot of large and small animals in my future. How? I feel that my skills and interests such as helping, hard work, compassion, and a lot of love of animals will help me understand the animals, but they will also allow me to have the stomach to be able to perform medicine and help them. This is my video. Education and training. I want to become a veterinarian. I will have to main. I will have. You're good. <laughs> I will have to have a minimum of four years of college education. This includes classroom, laboratory, and clinical work. It is required that I have a license to be able to perform medicine in the United States. To do this, I will have to pass the North American Veterinary Licensing Examination. Training, I can get the training at Cornell University, University of Cambridge, and Colorado State University. Career Outlook. Uh, 79,600 jobs existed in 2016. They are expected to grow around 15,000 positions in 2026. Median pay for this career is $90,420 per hour, $43.47 per hour. What does median pay even mean? Median pay is the wage of a specific profession in which only half of the workers earn more than that amount and the other half earned less. How much do the top 10% of earners make? The top 10% of earners in the veterinary field make more than $159,320 since 2017. The bottom 10% of earners make $53,980 since 2017. Skills and abilities. To become a veterinarian, I need to have compassion, communication skills, decision-making skills, manual dexterity, and problem-solving skills. Um, I think I have compassion because I can't stand for anyone to be in pain. 
I am good at communicating. I'm able to help and get things done with words. I'm good at keeping focused. I don't get distracted easily and I don't quit anything. I have leadership skills. I take charge easily, but I'm also good at teamwork. And I'm good at problem solving. I think outside of the box and I know there's more than one solution to everything. What can I do? I can. One thing I can do to work towards my career is not only the obvious, get a college education, but to educate myself whenever I can, such as reading books, watching films, and studying information about better medicine on my own time. I can also get experience. There are many volunteer and internship opportunities I can involve myself in to get a feel of the environment and obtain extra information. I can also make myself comfortable around animals if I want to be able to help animals when they're sick, dying, and anything in between. I have to be able to be around them without any fear. This can be done by volunteering at shelters or nonprofit rescues. Um, another thing I can do to work towards my career is talk with people who are now currently in the profession and take the opportunity to ask for advice and tips, along with any other questions that I might have about getting into the profession. And last, I can um, have steady hands and familiarize myself with blood because a lot of people are great with blood. And the importance of the career research is seeking a career path because it substantially reduces the chance of me switching my major in college as well as wasting my time and money on something that doesn't end up interesting me. Another reason it's important is because it is preparing me for what I'm going to have to do in order to be successful during the process of beginning in the profession. I need to be aware of how many years of schooling is going to be and if I'm willing to power through that. The pay is also super important, especially with the life I'm planning on living. This re research helps me know and educate myself with what the next quite a few years of my life are going to consist of. That's it. Awesome. All right, so um, back to the career, the career outlook. By 2026, are we going to have, is it projected to be more than 100,000 jobs or less? More. Less. I got you, less. That's what I meant to say. That's what I said. I just, yeah. All right. Good. Anybody have any other questions? All right. Awesome. Thank you.